Hey, what's up everybody? This is Chris with Digital Rim. And in this video, I'm going to do an unboxing of this power adapter that I bought for my, uh, for my Luminix G7 camera. Um, I'm sure you could buy these for pretty much any camera, but the reason I bought it for my camera is because it seemed like every, I say, 30 minutes, I'm making up a number, probably 20, 30 minutes around there, but my camera will automatically power off, which was um, uh, quite annoying because I'm in the middle of production, might be uh, drawing something, and then I look up, the camera's gone. So I was like, wow, I, I really need to figure a way to... Uh, simplify this but also make this a lot smoother and for production so I went ahead and uh, went to Amazon and saw this power adapter that pretty much instead of having a battery that's the other part to the battery would die on me so it have this battery pack that you will plug into the wall and uh, pretty much chart that will keep your uh, camera powered so I'm I'm opening the box here already. I was gonna say I'm op gonna open the box, but I already started. So because I want to get right to it. So what it comes with is the main part of it is this here. It's shaped like your um pretty much shaped like your battery of your camera. They come in all different versions for all different types of cameras. I bought. Make sure you buy the one for your specific model of camera. But it's called a DC coupler. It's kind of you know, on the you can see on the but yeah DC coupler and you essentially put this into your camera uh, battery pack and then you have a part that it'll open up and this wire will come out the side and then you will essentially connect the brick and then connect the plug to the brick and plug it in and it will keep your um, your your camera from dying from battery loss um, so I'm hoping this will be the solution to my problem. I read on a few forums that this is the solution. Um, on the other hand, I am also hoping that this doesn't uh, damage my camera any type of way. Um, so, but I've only heard a few uh, people claim that it possibly could damage the camera. So, again, read up on this. I did did a lot of research about this and kind of concluded that. It, it was worth the risk to try because again I my camera would go go to sleep on me in the middle of production and then I'd end up having to edit multiple clips um, and try to find where the where they align so this would allow me to record all the way through and pretty much have a um, have what I need all the way through so again got this for around uh, 20 20 right under $25 um, I've heard you can find it cheaper but I found it uh, right under $25 so not that not that bad of a price for the saving of time when uh, creating these videos for y'all so again I definitely plan on getting further into uh, deeper types of production that are going to take more focus and I can't have my camera going out on me in the middle of that because that that would be detrimental to production so this $25 investment will save you a lot of time in the uh, long run so again um, I'll probably do a review later on of how this is going along I'm pretty sure it's pretty cut and dry uh, plug and play it's not much to it but you could pick one up yourself um, I don't sell these uh, but I will put a link below uh, to where I got this one from but yeah Hope this works. Hope this and I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope this was helpful for you. So um, stay tuned for future videos. I'm continue to uh, hook up my production. I bought a lot of new equipment for uh, some for my video production. So hope you enjoy it. Uh, like this if you like this button. Like the hit the uh, like button and subscribe uh, for future videos. And visit our uh, website at digitalrim.com um, just to be nosy if you want to. So, again, hope you like this video. Later, y'all.